Alright guys, this is part one of painting the LA-125, and uh, I wasn't here to tape it, so uh, I thought, I'd, you know, it'll be kind of informal, but it's better than nothing. For those of you that don't know, this is one of the uh, LA-125s that is uh, peeling, uh, has peeling paint. It's bubbling up, and it's just, it was bubbling up, so... Uh, what my father did is he loosened the, I think, four bolts on the dash, and he was able to just l take the bolts out enough so he could slide the pan out. Then he took all the other little accessories, took all those off. Um, luckily, he didn't have to disassemble, I don't think, anything except for those four bolts. So it made it very easy to get to. But they were hard, well, they were hard to get to, but it made it very easy to uh, do this. Anyways... It was just peeling everywhere. And as you can see, it's still a little rough there, and it's peeling here. He, uh, I don't think he sanded that down or something. So he said he's going to sand this down again, you know, and then do another coat, and then he may have to do it in even a third time. So that's what he's going to be, uh, hopefully I'll be helping him with it, but uh, I may not be here, so I'll just try and keep you as updated as I can. And uh, he's just been using spray paint here. You got right at the hardware. Said it says somewhere it's probably for uh, John Deere. Well, it should should say it. Oh, this is yeah, paint and primer in one. Anyways, yeah, we covered all that. So this is probably what it's gonna look like. I don't think it's an exact. It's not an exact match, but it's good enough. And uh, oh, you could probably. What's going on under here? He didn't paint under here yet, did he? He j he just. He's not going to paint under here, it looks like. Uh, he just sanded that down. There is still some loose paint. In fact, I could show you. Here's a pile of it. It was just peeling off. I mean, pieces this big were peeling off at times. So we're hoping that this will last. And uh, if two years down the road it starts bubbling up, then we're going to know for sure it's the metal. And we're, we are pretty sure that it is the metal, or maybe it was uh, the type of metal. Or the way it was primed, we don't really know. But uh, that's I think that's really all I have to say about this. Hopefully we'll get back together soon, and hopefully it'll last, and it won't peel anymore. So uh, thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you'd like. All right, let's see if we should shed some light on our tractor here. We got this all painted and put back together. And uh, it looks darn good, I must say. The paint is not an exact match of, uh, of uh, you know, the hood, but you know what, what the heck. It looks a lot better than it did before, so um, it's all right. Hopefully it'll last at least a few more years. And it's definitely the metal that is uh, causing the paint to peel. So, you know, there's not much you can do about it unless we want to spend $1,000 on stinking pan. Um, one thing he did do, it's kind of custom, he used a bed liner and uh, painted with a little uh, foot resco. He painted that because, he, you know, this is where it seems to rust the most and get scratched up, you know, from people walking on it. And I think it actually looks cooler that way. You know, it looks really good. So we did that, you know. Because that's where a lot, of the a lot of the rust was. And then we'll just put our floor pants back in like so. So That'll look pretty good, I think. And I am sorry for the low light. I wanted to upload this video tonight, and it's pretty dark. But uh, Yeah, I think that's really it. It runs fine. We are trying to figure this bagger from the tractor that I gave to my grandmother, the Sabre by John Deere. We're trying to get that to work on here, and it looks like it will. We just got to do a couple more things, but it, it should work. So that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and leave a comment if you would like.